Hello everyone, my name is Joe Archino, and welcome back to This Is Why We Stand. You are about to listen to the highlights from my interview with Richard Neal, who served in the British Army with the 4th Battalion, 1st Parachute Regiment, during the Second World War, and beyond. It was a tremendous honor to spend some time with this great man at the 2018 Bastogne Banquet at the Thayer Hotel on the grounds of West Point. I can't thank Richard enough for his service and for sharing his wisdom with me. Went, in, went into the army when I was 19, uh, 1944. Um, served in England and then in Palestine. Came back to England and um, went to Australia. Lived there for 40 years. Came back to England. My wife died, so I stayed. Stayed in England. And uh, I live in Manchester and that's it. What does it mean to you to be in a place like this, West Point? Now, this is one of the hollowed grounds of American military lore. What does it mean to you to be in a building where, you know, you have pictures of Eisenhower and Patton and They're all these great, great guys? It's great, it really is. And it's uh, good to be here. When you said that you've been at this event before, why is it so important for you to make your way out here to the? Well, because you meet there? you meet your American friends, don't you? And uh, they're a good bunch. When you look back on those days, what was it like interacting with Americans, or did you have much interaction with American GIs during the yes, Second World War? Yes, yes, the, um, they were billeted just up the road from where I lived, and. Uh, we used to see them all the time, and it was great. It was, yeah, it was good. You always enjoyed uh, interacting yeah. with them. Yeah, and there was war on, but it didn't matter. You still enjoyed yourself. What did you guys kind of do to uh, to pass the time when you weren't in, in duty? Did you guys go out together? You guys play cards? Or what kind of stuff did you guys do? No, just just went out, a uh, few beers. <laughs> Not a bad way to f spend some time, huh? No. When we look at British military history, the First World War, obviously, so many people's families have some connection to it. Does yours? Yes. I had four brothers in the First World War. Three got killed, and um, one was okay. He, was, he turned out to be a bus driver. What do you think you want the younger generation to remember, whether Americans or British kids, what do you think they need to know and, and remember about the Second World War? Well, all they need to remember is what Hitler was like, don't they? Do you think today people really understand no. the sacrifices that were that were endured no. during those times? No. People don't understand? No. no way. Is there a way we can help make them understand? I don't think so. You had to be they there don't, to they don't want. To, they don't want to know. They don't want to know the no. terrible things that happen. No. Is it hard for you to, to do you block those things out or are no. they still? No, still they're there? gone. Thank you for listening to this interview. For thisiswhywestand.net, I'm Joe Archino.